I was provided with a product sample to test. This will not affect my opinion about the product. Watch the entire video till the end to see my product rating. Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Fosse Audio brand, their T20X Bluetooth tube stereo amplifier with headphone amp, 2.0 channel, Class D mini hi-fi power amp receiver. It uses the common GAED 5654W vacuum tubes. Before I go into detail, I want to show how it was shipped. And this nice uh, protective piece on there in this box. And all the components are here, the tubes. The uh, power supply is right here, and the instruction booklet, and the unit itself. We're going to take everything out of here, we're going to show you what it looks like. Here's everything out of the box. And uh, before I continue, I wanted to let you know this has a two-year warranty from the manufacturer. It includes this nice, powerful 108-watt power supply that's going to be providing the 24-volt DC to the amplifier. This product gets excellent customer ratings and the specs say that it's a total harmonic distortion of 0.05% and a signal to noise ratio of 105 decibel, which is really great. Now I did a calculation, some measurements with this power supply and you feeding into 4 ohms, you're going to get 50 watts RMS times 2 channels into 4 ohms, which is great. Now this has Bluetooth 5 that also comes with an antenna that we're going to connect up and also has line in and headphone out. So let's just look real quick at the back right here. It's got your speaker out connections, plus and minus. This is the right, this is the left. It has line in right and line in left. There is the barrel connector for the power supply. And this is what you put on for the Bluetooth. This is a standard configuration uh, Bluetooth antenna that uh, works with 2.4 gigahertz just like that. Let's turn this around. You see there's a label right there. It says please give me 15 seconds to warm up because tubes do have to be warmed up. We're going to remove that label now. Just a reminder. Here is the tube sockets in there and tubes only go in one way. They should line up nicely. I love that this has tubes, really cool. Now let's take a look at the front of this. You have your power switch right there, all nicely organized. You have a 3.5 millimeter audio out. You have nice treble, bass, and master volume on there to keep it really simple. On the bottom it has nice silicone legs to keep this put on your table. Now let's talk about, this is the Class D amplifier and a little research on that. Um, typical conventional amplifiers, the output stage has transistors that supply instantaneous continuous output current. They waste a lot of power while they're in that a range of the fat or the transistors. So that's class A, class AB, and class B. But with class D, the output stage dissipation is, is uh, much more efficient because it's not always turned on while it's not being used, while there's no signal. And the net, the net benefit is that this will dissipate much less power than Class A, Class AB, and Class B. So Class D is much more efficient. And that's why you're able to get that power of 50 watts RMS for such a small package. 50 watts RMS is a very decent amount of power. A lot of people, their home stereos have 100 watts RMS, and that's their big home stereo, so you can see the efficiency of this. Now that Bluetooth is really great, it's Bluetooth 5.0, so you can connect up to 50 meters or 50 feet away. Uh, so this uses a, 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 I mentioned the GAN5654 vacuum tubes, which I'll show you a slide, you can get replacements, matched ones on Amazon, they're pretty common. So let's just take a look at what it looks like. I haven't seen a, a tube for a while. And there's what it looks like. So tubes have to be warmed up because they have a little coil in them that heats up and generates electrons. And a lot of audiophile people really believe in tubes. Uh, they have a, a nice smooth acoustic uh, pattern to them. The way they're energized and so forth, people just think that they're great. So we're going to uh, plug this in 
and again it should only go in one way in here just like that now we're going to plug in the second one then we're going to give this thing a try here i have both tubes put in place now before you power it on make sure your switch is in zero position and the volume is low now we're going to connect up a set of bookshelf speakers to the output right there. So here I have it connected for the first time to some Sony B1000 bookshelf speakers. They're magnetically shielded. Great simple speakers that sound great. They work up to 125 watts so this is perfect for this amplifier. I shut some of the studio lights off so that we could uh, demonstrate the glowing of the tubes right there you can see they're actually glowing there is the power switch on and the volume bass and treble now we're going to uh, hook it up to my pixel 6 and do some uh, audio testing on it and the pixel 6 it's going to pair with the fossi audio sir so here i have it paired i'm playing some copyright free music it's got a good bass to it Base, I'm sorry, there's travel. So you can definitely hear that this has the 50 watts RMS because I know I've driven this with smaller devices. Well, I wish you could you could feel this base port on here. So whatever they're doing with the driver circuitry in here, this thing is just breathing like you would believe. Now, now I'm going to walk away and see how the Bluetooth works. I'm going to see if I can get further away. That's about uh, 35-40 feet away. That's still working perfectly. So just out of interest, I wanted to see the thermal response of these. So I have a uh, thermal camera. And you can see right there, the little tubes are glowing. So they're generating, uh, they're dissipating probably about 3 or 4 watts to generate those electrons. But it's still very efficient. And the sound is really smooth and amazing. So I wanted to demonstrate when you put headphones in, which I'm doing right here, it doesn't disconnect the sound, so the sound is still active on the speakers. But yet it's in the headphones, you can hear, also. So that's kind of unique. Now if you're going to use a turntable with this Fosse amplifier, and you're going to go into the line inputs right there, you need to have a preamp because uh, turntables have a very low output and they don't have any bass to them. The grooves on the record are designed with a filter so that the bass is eliminated. So you have a preamp for your turntable, then go to line input and you're all set to enjoy the Fosse amplifier. So after testing, what do I think about the Fosse audio brand, their T20X Bluetooth tube stereo amplifier? Really, really cool product. As I demonstrated, I love the tubes on there. I love the way it looks. I love the sound quality on this. Very smooth, very accurate, really nice product. And it's gonna look great on your bookshelf, anywhere by your PC. It's just really cool look into that tubes are becoming back in style. I love the way they look. I love the mechanics of them. So I love this product. I'm gonna give it a full five star rating. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.